Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 255 tutorial video. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the system settings on your Garmin Forerunner 255. So this video can be useful if you're just trying to learn more about your Garmin Forerunner 255, you're thinking about buying one and you want to see what the system settings look like, or if you're trying to change the language, the backlight settings, time, anything like that, the system settings can change a lot about your Garmin Forerunner 255. So we'll be going over those so you have a full understanding of how to use them. All right, so to get into the system settings, the first thing we need to do is open the menu, and we do that by holding the up button just for a second or two. Once the menu opens, select the up button again, and we'll go to the bottom of the list, and we'll select system here. So now that we're in the system settings, the first option is going to be language. So in here, we can select the language that we want the watch to be displayed in, and I'll go through it so you can get an idea of what languages are available. Once you find your language, simply select it with the start or stop button, and then all the menus and items on the watch will be displayed in that language. After that, we have time, where if we go into time, we can change the format if we want to go to 24 or military, and then we can even have the time set manually if we want. So we can go into set time, turn it from auto to manual, and when we do that, a new option will become available for where we can go in there and actually set the time. I'm just going to go back to auto real quick. After that, in the time settings, we have alerts. So this is where you can set up alerts based on the time of day. So you can have an alert, and I like to have one for sunset where it reminds me that it is going to be sunset in one hour. So now the watch will remind me that it's an hour till sunset. Additionally, you can go below and have hourly alerts if you just need to know on the top of every hour that's going on, that might be useful for work or sports, something like that. After alerts, we can sync the watch with GPS. If you're changing time zones and your watch is not keeping up with that, you can go in here, sync it with GPS, and then that should update the time accordingly automatically as well. After time in the system settings, we have backlight, and they separate this into two different sections. So during activities, and then general use here. So I'll just do general use, but these will be exactly the same. If we select in, you first can determine if keys, any of the buttons on the watch will turn on the backlight. And keep in mind with any of these settings, we can have it not only turn on or off, but we can also have it so that the keys only turn on the backlight after sunset, so when it's dark outside. And this can be a battery saving setting. If you just wanna save some battery life, get a little bit longer out of your watch, you can do that. Additionally, in the backlight settings, we can configure if alerts or notifications will turn on the backlight. Gesture, so if I turn this on, anytime I bring the watch towards me, so as you can see, the backlight's off. If I turn it towards me real quick, it turns on, and that's how that works. Timeout. This is how long the backlight stays on once it's been turned on. So I just do a long time for these videos so that it doesn't turn off. Then after timeout, we have the brightness, and this is very significant when affecting your battery life. I usually have this set on around 20%. I find that's pretty good for during the day and at night, but just on 100% just for filming this video. So that's everything with the backlight. After that, we have sound and vibe. So this is where we can determine if your watch makes sounds or it vibrates. First, alert tones. If you get a notification or an alert goes off, you can configure if it turn, if it makes a noise. And this can also be configured to just happen during activities, which is pretty useful. We can have it so an alert or notification will vibrate the watch. Then finally, we have key tones. So if I hit a button on the watch, as you can hear, it will make a noise. And that's an example of what that tone sounds like. And then after that, we can have it where it'll vibrate anytime I hit a button on the watch, which could be pretty annoying. So that's everything in there. After that, we have do not disturb. And this is where you can turn on do not disturb, which basically any notifications or anything on the watch that would trigger a vibration will not happen during this time, which is very useful for sleep or maybe if you're in meetings, something like that. So you can turn that on here. And you can also make sure that your do not disturb is configured to turn on while you're sleeping. And you can configure this time in the Garmin Connect app. And I have a tutorial on that as well on my channel. After do not disturb, we have auto lock. So if you go in here, you can have it so it's always locked or just during activities or when you're not in activities. And the lock, this just makes it so that the buttons don't do anything on the watch, which could be useful if you're doing an activity like boxing or something where it might get hit by the glove. Additionally, we have format. So if you need to change the format of your units, you can go to kilometers, to miles, or meters, things like that. Pace, speed preferences, all those. And then start of the week, you can figure what day is the start of the week. After that, we have physio true up. 
So if you have multiple Garmin watches, I recommend keeping this on so anything from your steps, your stair climbing, those kind of that kind of information will sync up between all the different watches. After that, we have performance conditioning. So after you complete an activity, it'll kind of tell you based on your age, how you are compared to other people in your age group. You can turn this off if you want to, if you don't want to have that screen at the end of activities, but I kind of like seeing that. After that, in the system settings, we have data recording. So if I go in here, we can configure how data is recorded. I recommend using smart, but you can change it to every second if you want to. And these really will not change much, maybe just your storage space on the watch. And then you can have it log your HRV, which is your heart rate variability. So that's kind of like a health number right there. If you want to turn that on and see it, you can, but you can also turn it off here as well. Finally, we have USB mode. And this is what happens when you plug your watch into your computer. There actually is some storage space on this watch. If you needed to, you could use it, but the OS on the watch could override it. So it's not really reliable. I just leave this default. And if I use Garmin Connect on my computer, it seems to work fine. So no reason to really change this. After that, in the system settings, we have reset and they have several options for resetting everything, including a factory reset right here. So if you need to clear up some storage space or you mess something up, you can go in here and reset the settings alone, or you can do a full reset and it'll be just like it was when you got it. After that, we have software update. So if there's a software update and it comes up on the screen and you kind of cancel out of it, you can go in here and you can manually trigger that update. You can also turn on or off auto updates, which I find to be useful so that it automatically downloads it and then installs it for me. And then finally, we have about, and if you go in here, you can see information about your watch, your unit ID, and this can be useful if you're talking to support, maybe they need more information about what's going on with your watch. All right, so that was a quick overview of the system settings on your Garmin 4Runner 255. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin 4Runner 255 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.